people dg i'm back again now this is probably my shortest preview the premier league in fact football is now fast and fast and coming is quickly turning around terrific result against chelsea obviously we're now out of the fa cup we haven't got time to feel sorry for us on tuesday we're obviously playing cardiff and we need to win now because of the wobbling between a couple of our sides and our sides at times the race for the top four just in looking it away from what club you might support um, anything from probably Liverpool and, and Chelsea, Liverpool and City, sorry, are nailed on for first and second respectively. I think we can all agree on that. But from third to sixth, in regards to where anyone stands, is up for debate. You'd think Spurs, is, Spurs and Chelsea are going to be up there, make up the two positions. But um, Spurs are having injuries and having a bit of a wobble. We obviously beat Chelsea and flipped it on his head, and Chelsea are having a bit of a wobble. Like I said, you'd probably expect them two sides to do it. That's not to play down United. I told United fans you've got a better squad than you lot um, carry on like. You're seeing a resurgence in form. Yes, in, in regards to the, 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 the Premier League, how they beat Arsenal is irrelevant. But a good result in the FA Cup against Arsenal, a good result against um, Chelsea, I mean, not Chelsea, um, Spurs, sorry, sandwiched in, in that a couple of other, other games where you're winning. So the resurgence is good. Sometimes you, you can play through form and stuff like that and win like we were doing at the start of the season, just playing through form. We was in a bit good run of form. We was winning games. Sometimes we was getting goals that we probably shouldn't have and things were happening for us. United are currently going through that at this moment in time. I don't believe Arsenal can, but mathematically it still can be done, I guess. We beat Chelsea, so it depends what happens. If we beat Cardiff and beat Manchester City, you've put yourselves in a good position. Like I said, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't. I feel like the top six sides, you can individually pick people for quality. I think... All the three side, all the other sides are more galvanized than we are. On top of just having quality and the depths and the op in options, and obviously we've got injuries, and just because of the inconsistencies, I think we've shot. Personally, I feel we've shot ourselves in the foot too much. In my opinion, we've dropped too many dumb points. It's over. But we've got Cardiff on Tuesday, like I've already said. So we got to fight until it's done. Now. I'm sure we will, we will are disregarding to a degree Cardiff, I'm not, but will the big one is the weekend against Manchester City. And you're right, it is a big one. We beat both these teams, get six points in a week. That's a good result. Even if we don't beat Cardiff, um, I'd love to beat City. I don't think we can. We ain't got a, we ain't got much of a chance, but we've got to try in it. Um, we can't look past Cardiff. We can't disrespect Cardiff. That being said, though, people, I can't accept anything less than a win against Cardiff. I'm sorry. I know they took us to the wild. We needed a Lacazette goal in the 81st minute or so to sneak past them. But we need to win this. We need to win this. Games are coming thick and fast. And obviously, our squad's down to the bare bones. We can't deal with any other injuries. We need, we need to win this. They've got one win in the last six. They've lost 14 games this season, forgive me if I'm wrong. This is a side we should be winning. Um, I've seen them, granted, I've seen them just start off um, poorly and get annihilated, but I've also seen in recent weeks a couple of times Cardiff put in a shift and obviously I don't want to say the scoreline is not fair because the scoreline is the scoreline, but a couple of times they played better than, I'd, I'd say they played better than the scoreline suggests. That being said, this is a side... Um, obviously at the time of year we're in and obviously relegation this is a time where bookie results can happen and dodgy results or un the unexpected can happen but this is a side you're expected to win it doesn't matter what Arsenal side go out there I'd actually expect even if we filled a couple of these under 23 players within this side I expect to win um, we need to win obviously most most fans of other clubs and, and players of other clubs of the rest of our top 6 rivals will be well, the ones fighting with us for fourth will be licking their lips they would love for us to beat Card lose to Cardiff and lose to City they know if they if they win three points this week, and even if Arsenal do, Card um, it's not I keep saying Cardiff City might do them a favour. So we need to do what we can. We need to do loss prevention. I would love a point against City. I'd sure as hell like to beat them. I'm sure we've all accepted defeat. So it, uh, if nothing more, it's damage limitation. It's loss prevention. It won't mean nothing losing the next game. But if we can beat beat Cardiff, at least we we can say, alright, cool. We got a three points there, sort of thing. Um. So we need to we we need to we need to be at it, man. We have to hope that I hope that I believe I can't remember who's playing who. I think United's playing Burnley. Hopefully Burnley can do a job for us. I think Chelsea have Bournemouth um Bournemouth away. Hopefully Bournemouth can get some points off them. And don't quote me on this. I might not be right, people, but I'm sure it's Spurs versus Watford. Hopefully Watford could do us a job there as well. I'm not too sure if that's home and away, home or away. Sorry. So yeah, man. In regards to the lineup, I must admit, people, a couple players have played quite frequently. So do we rest players? Do we be a bit smart? So I've got a couple of teams. Um, I'd love for us to revert back to the diamond now. 
with a couple of injuries in mind and resting players, um, this would be my lineup. I'd go with Leno in goal. I'd actually go with Kyle Jenkinson at right back. I, I no disrespect to Cardiff, they've got threats from wide areas, but I do believe we should be be regardless of who's there, we should be winning that. I feel Maitland Niles has played a lot, and there could be a case to rest him. I'm going to sound like a hypocrite in a few seconds, but I feel Jenkinson he's a bit more reserved than 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 Maitland Niles. Get give him a run up, possibly just utilize our squad. To be fair with you. Um, and on the left-hand side, I think Maitland Niles is still good to play our next game, but especially because he missed out the start of the season and there's enough rest. But I'd pull him over to the left-hand side purely because or dependent on Cole, Cole's fitness. Now, Cole didn't have the best of games against United, but he's someone that's typically had issues with his fitness. And in the last recent weeks, couple couple games, he's had no issues in that department. So I don't want to jinx it. So is it, a, is it possible that we rest him? Now, we kind of need him. He's essentially our best winger in this club, at the well, in the team at this moment, this season, because of what he provides us in an attacking sense. But do we be smart with our players? There's obviously the likes of Lick Steiner, who's clearly not at it, but do you possibly play Lick Steiner at centre half? Um, or do you do certain things? Do you play Lick Steiner at left back and then carry Keith Jenkinson there and go Monreal at centre half? I'm not too sure. If Kohler's fit and there's not a risk of injury, then I'm going with Kohler and Maitland now as my first choice right back. So I'd actually bring in Jenkinson and Kohler to a degree. But um, if not, um, if Kohler can't play, I'm going to just keep it with Maitland now. So Maitland now is left back, Jenkinson right back should be enough. Um, obviously, if they're fit, Koscielny, Mustafi and Socrates, between them need to need to start. Not really Mustafi, but the, the two names I said in Socrates and Koscielny, I'd start them. Um, if one of them can't play, I hope Socrates is fit and stuff like that. Apparently, it's not a big injury, but probably he's going to miss out on the weekend. Koscielny allegedly has come out that it's just a broken jaw. I don't want to say just a broken jaw because that must be pretty painful. But you'd like to think there's some painkillers or something he could take to play in that game. So um, I'm going to go with Koscielny. I'm actually going to go with... Something tells me Koscielny going to miss out. So I'm just going to go with Mustafi and Monreal. That would actually be the two centre-halves I'm going with. Well, I know Monreal's not a centre-half, but he hasn't played much. Again... Cardiff's a team you should be beating regardless, people. I know my lineup in the back four it looks a bit shaky, but yeah, man. I push Mustafi and Monreal if no one else is fit is available. And if there are fit left if there are fit centre halves available, then of course move Monreal to the left back and give Maitland Niles the night off or, or put him over to the right hand side. But that would be my team. I know Torreira needs a rest, man. I think he badly needs a rest. But for me, I think we badly need three points. So we've got to play our best team. There's enough time to rest people after this game. God willing, Torreira can come for it unharmed. But I feel Torreira's got to play. Um, I think we can... I don't want to say not think about defensive things in this game. But I think we can be a bit adventurous. Now, I want to play Guendouzi. I think Guendouzi and Torreira should start. But I also want to play Ramsey. So I'm going to go with Ramsey and Torreira. In the 10 position, I'm going with Mesut Ozil. Up front, it, do I really need to tell you like, at this point who goes up front? You know it's Aubameyang and Lacazette. Um, so, yeah, man. Obviously, the bench, I'd, I'd expect to see either Joe Willikin and Ketty or both on the bench um, because we're kind of down to our bare bones and things like that. Um, but that would be my lineup, anyways. Um, so, to recap, obviously, I've spoken about other things, but just to recap... Oh, pardon me. Leno in goal. Jenkinson and Maitland Niles as our fullbacks. You've got Monreal and Mustafi as our centre-halves. In midfield, you've got Aaron Ramsey and Lucas Torreira. 10 position, Meza Ozil, although I don't think he'll start. Um, Lacazette and Aubameyang, the two obvious picks up front. So, in regards to Arsenal versus Cardiff, that's my preview. And we'll see what the boys are saying, man. It's important that we take three points because we don't know what is going to happen against Manchester City. And we could only... It's a case, very much a case of pray for the best, hope for... Um, no, what's the saying? Hope for the best, prepare for the worst, or whatever it is. Or pray for the worst. One of them sort of things there, but... Yeah, man, people, I've got nothing more to add, man. I'm knackered, man. I've done quite a few vids now, as you can see, with this on. But people, DG, I'm out, man. Thank you for watching.